Howdy, WinTech Warriors. Today we're going to configure network settings within CMT and non-CMT series HMIs. The process is similar, but not the same, so follow along as I establish network connectivity with our HMIs. Watch along as I demonstrate how to configure network settings in our CMT and non-CMT series HMIs. In our non-CMT series HMI, the Settings button is located on the bottom right of the HMI screen. After selecting this button, navigate to the Settings icon. You will be prompted to enter the HMI's password, 111111 is the default password for all WinTech HMIs. In the Network tab, you can statically assign network info like I have or you can obtain IP address automatically via DHCP server. In our CMT series HMI, the settings button is located on the top left of the HMI screen. To edit network settings, select the lock icon and enter the HMI's password. The default password for all WinTech HMIs is 111-111. After entering the password, navigate to the Network tab and select the Ethernet port in which you would like to configure network settings. From here, you can statically assign network info like I have, or you can obtain an IP address automatically via DHCP server. Let's take a look at the network settings on our CMT SVR models. The process of configuring network settings for the different SVR models is similar, but there are some minor differences. First up is the CMT SVR100. To view our EasyWeb dashboard, you'll need to enter the device's IP address into your browser's address bar. The default IP address for Ethernet port 2 is 192.168.100.1. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your device's password. 111111 is the default password for all WinTech HMIs. Within our EasyWeb 2.0 dashboard, head on over to the Network tab and select Ethernet. Next, select the Ethernet port in which you would like to configure network settings. You have the option to statically assign an IP address and subnet mask, or you can automatically receive network configuration via DHCP server. Select OK and click on the highlighted IP address when finished. Next up is the CMT SBR200. To view your EasyWeb dashboard, you'll need to enter the device's IP address into your browser's address bar. The default IP address for the Ethernet port is 169.254.0.1. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your device's password. 111111 is the default password for all WinTech HMIs. Within our EasyWeb 2.0 dashboard, head on over to the Network tab and select Ethernet. You have the option to statically assign an IP address and subnet mask or you can automatically receive network configuration via DHCP server. Select OK and click on the highlighted IP address when finished. You also have the option to connect to a wireless network. Return to the Network tab and click Wi-Fi. Here you'll be able to choose a wireless access point. Finally, we've got our CMT SBRX822. To view our EasyWeb dashboard, you'll need to enter the device's IP address into your browser's address bar. The default IP address for Ethernet port 2 is 192.168.100.1. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your device's password. 111111 is the default password for all WinTech HMIs. Within our EasyWeb 2.0 dashboard, head on over to the Network tab and select Ethernet. Next, select the Ethernet port in which you would like to configure network settings. You have the option to statically assign an IP address and subnet mask, or you can automatically receive network configuration via DHCP server. 
Select OK and click on the highlighted IP address when finished. Enabling bridge mode allows both Ethernet ports to be on the same subnet, achieving the functionality of a switch. Depending on the device firmware or when you purchased your HMI, the web server may appear as shown, but the network configuration process is practically the same. First, log in using your device's password. The default password is 111111. Next, within the Network tab, you can statically assign your IP address or receive configuration automatically by a DHCP server. Select Save when you are finished. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, head on over to our channel for more great technical tutorials. And come on down to our forum, it's a great resource for everything WinTech.